Our next patient is a 67 year old male, a known diabetic having dyslipidemia, he is a smoker, presented with chronic stable angina, having ejection fraction of 40%. His angiography revealed a normal left main coronary artery, total occlusion of LED from the ostium, normal left circumflex artery, here we can see the totally occluded LED from the ostium. Right coronary injection showing normal right coronary artery and LED getting filled via grade 3 collaterals from the RCA. So plan is LED PCI. So we go live, live now. Areo Kodal. Saito sir, you mic on sir? You are on sir. Hmm. Can you hear us? Good morning. Yeah, yeah good morning. Center. Okay. I first? Yes, you first. Okay. Can we have the images of the angio? Uh, okay, cannot great. see anything. Spider? Hmm? Spider? Spider view. <coughs> okay, you first. I cannot see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there. There's a small oh. yeah, 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 yeah. entry point mm. in there. Yes, yes. Yes. So, can I have uh, epicodal, deep codal? Epi deep codal. Uh, don't move, don't move. Ah. Yes. There is some entry, but uh, between, I can't see anything. It looks like there is a little, very tiny nipple there. Yes, but after that, I cannot see anything. No. So anyway, I start from the antibrate, uh, my combination with uh, microcatheter and the XTA. So you will do fill, fill the XTA and a microcatheter. 135. Fine It's, uh, you know, the so upper side is already cut. cut. I can see your upper yeah. side. So it's not good. Is it a good retrograde option here, Dr. Saito? Pardon? I cannot see, see, hear you. Is a good retrograde option in this case? Uh, no, still I have not yet checked. Okay? I'm uh, now at this stage, I want to be uh, focusing on the anti-grade approach. anti -grade. Mm. So, so because the nipple is so tiny, would mm. you like to, or you will consider IBUS to really uh, locate where the ostium of the lady might be? That uh, would be a help? But uh, I, I am sure that the, uh, Needle. the Needle that a tiny nipple is the entry. Okay. So do you have seven French on the LAD on the left system or six French on the left system? Seven French. This seven is seven French. French. And on the right system is a six French? Yeah. Uh, five French and geography. Okay. So you do not go with a guiding catheter in order to transform into retrograde from the get-go? Mm. If I'm going to the uh, retrograde approach, I have to exchange a catheter, of okay. course. No, I like this one. Hmm. This one? No. No, this oh. one.
Yeah, this is. I advance the microcatheter slowly into left main. Okay. So I check by contralateral. Okay. Uh, long way. Yeah. So any reason that you choose the Terumo uh, microcatheter versus a Corsair versus a Caravel <coughs> versus in this particular one? Yes, uh, because I, I feel that the uh, wire manipulation one is the uh, best for uh, Terumo. I see. Ah, it's out. No, no, no. Test, please. No. Okay, I have to bend. This one. Difficult. Test, please. Uh, oh, here. Okay, this one. I'm uh, pushing a little bit. I think, uh, I don't know. The direction is nice, however, the region itself is, uh, okay. There, 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 there. So, uh, maybe contra, yeah. Okay. Okay, the direction is nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm pushing, keep rotation. Okay. I, I want to go a, a, to the epicranial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Control. Mm. Yeah. Direction is nice. Very nice. I'm keep keep rotation and pushing a little bit. Uh, 
It's a little bit of the shadow of the calcium that allows you to. Yes, mm. I think. Okay, so we counter two, I think. Uh, some gap. How do you think? I think you are out. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not sure. Still. Almost. Mm. Will I you bring try. the micro catheter down now? No, microcatheter is uh, in the left main. Yeah. Would you bring it down? Okay, ah, this is true. true. You are okay, true. you are true. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay, control. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, I advance this wire further. You know, I'm feeling very strong resistance while I'm trying to rotate and pushing. The wire itself is uh, uh, completely catched, caught by the region itself. It should be very fibrous, thick region. So, okay. Saito-sensei. Yes. In my practice in Japan, uh, we often use a CTA to check uh, the, the, mm. the direction of the CTO and also the, the tissue condition. But uh, you are a legend in the field of CTO, so you can speculate uh, the, the feeling of the wire resistance, yeah. what yes. the, the tissue is, right? Yes, okay, yes, that's great. right. Yeah. Okay, now it's time to push the microcatheter while keeping the wire in this position. Okay, should be crossed. No. No, not yet. No. But uh, maybe because I have already pushed the microcatheter deeply into the total occlusion, so the resistance to the wire was less. Less, yes. This is a very important finding. Okay. So, try again, but cannot. So now it's time to take the small size balloon. So, again, I want to take the, uh, you know, trapping balloon okay, technique. Okay, two. Uh, Two, uh, 2.5? 2.5 or even 3 millimeter. 3 millimeter? This three is 7 French. Yeah, 3 or oh, 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 15. 15. 15, 12, either is fine. Mm. Okay. So now with a 1.2 millimeters balloon, we have a significant uh, advantage uh, that even though the microcatheter may not advance, the 1.2 millimeters balloon, they do advance many times. Yes, yes. We have a one millimeter balloon here also. You have? Yeah. Uh, from which company? Uh, so the company? No, one millimeter. Show me. You uh, ray uh, uh, one point zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Terum. Mm. Terum. So mm -hmm. anyway, three millimeter balloon fast. Three fifteen any balloon. Dr. Saido, you are using 3O balloon because you anticipate using that later on after using it for trapping? Ah, yes, yes. Exactly. That's right. Yes, that's right. Otherwise, generally you require 2 5 balloon for a yeah, sound French yeah, guide. Yeah. But yeah. he is thinking ahead and just keeping a 3O balloon. Hmm. So you don't need two balloons. Hmm. So I, I do not know if, if you follow but the same, but when you use the 1 2 or the small balloon, normally I use the longer one because it gas, uh, so the marker is in the middle, so it gives us a little bit more of the possibility to uh, kind of uh, put the nose of the balloon in there rather than using a short one. Is that more the same thing that you, that you do? Mm. But anyway, we don't have a long, long balloon. Oh, okay. Oh, too far. Oh. Too far. <laughs> you you cross the CTO already. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. No six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight. It's eight. Okay. Now I'm removing the microcatheter. 
slowly. Okay? Its wire is stable. Okay. Deflate it. Deflate. Then can I have a 1.0 millimeter balloon? We have a 1 millimeter? Yes, 1 millimeter balloon. 1 millimeter balloon? This is 1 by 5. Okay. Yes. Kasaka sensei, uh, one millimeter balloon is uh, dilatation is enough for take uh, OCT image. Uh, not not <laughs> too small. Too small. Too small. I see. Uh, at least two mm. millimeter ah, okay. is an ideal. I, I see. Yeah. But uh, I, I can oh. try. No. <laughs> <laughs> Might be difficult in mm. case with the mm. CTO. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay, can cross. Already okay. cross. Yeah, already. Go up. Yeah. No, 16. Yeah. It's a 16. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the proxima. Okay, 16. This is a uh, 5 millimeter in length. Balloon. 16. Yeah. Okay, deflate. Okay. 16. Mm-hmm. It's quite easy now. So two millimeter balloon? Two millimeter balloon yeah. to take uh, OCT good, good OCT image. Yeah. Saito sensei try to use an OCT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OCT ready. I'm wondering if the one point zero millimeter balloon should be a, a little bit small, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm taking a two millimeter balloon oh, before great, OCT. Great. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Two fifteen. Doctor, so you have a uh, very powerful guide position. Hmm. There was a ob obscure LED ostia, and your support is so solid that uh, uh, I think that's something to watch for. How he has achieved that power guide position yeah, but, uh, to get the maximum the, uh, support from the another uh, projection. Right. You know, the uh, guiding catheter position is quite nice. Yes, it's very good. Mm. The solid position you achieved with the guide, and mm. that's the reason behind the success mm. of easily pushing through balloon. Yeah, okay. Hmm? You're keeping the wire? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm catching. here going up hmm. 14 is 14 okay okay is going up 14 mm -hmm. up hmm. 14 okay Deeply. So, OCT? Yeah. Mm. So, do you can uh, move the right catheter? Ah, uh, but uh, from the uh, different, I, I want to check by different right. okay. position. Okay. From that projection, it's okay. Right. The patient has very, you know, mm, the coronary artery has a uh, uh, high, high position. High takeoff. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I check the uh, by caudal? Caudal. Deep caudal. Deep caudal. Mm -hmm. For control letter, you want to see from control letter? No. Ah, no. Okay, from this projection, it's nice. It's really good 
यस ओके कम बैक कम एपी एपी करने डॉक्टर साइटो वाज ट्राइंग टू शो इस दैट द गाइड इज इन अ वेरी गुड पोजीशन गेटिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द एओटिक बैक वॉल एस वेल एस द एओटिक कस्प Dr. Saito, the question was that uh, the GR4 catheter, the right coronary artery catheter. Uh, no more. You don't need to use yeah, it anymore, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. You are right. Yeah. Oh. Saito, how often do you use imaging to help you while you're opening up CTOs? Uh, almost every case. Okay. Just moment. I want to replace the uh, wire position. No difficult. Okay, okay. So, okay, this is okay. Mm. Yes. So, uh, where is the OCT oh, oh screen? Yeah, yeah. Ah, there. Yes, yes. Huh? Ah, okay. 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 So, ready? Ready? No. Yes. yes. Re yes. Ready? No, he's stuck. Hmm? No? Yeah. Come out. Yeah. One more. I'm, I'm afraid uh, the, the recoil yeah. makes a yeah. um, flow, right? I think flow is uh, too, too small. Yeah, right. No, no contrast in mm, the No contrast. So Why? All, the almost so contrast to okay. CX, right? Just a moment. Just a moment. I remove and then take angel. Okay? Yeah. But yeah. This is not OCT. Right. So uh, the dilatation is not enough. Not yeah. enough. Mm. Yeah. And also dilation. it mm. takes a, a little bit time. So mm. some recoil yeah. may, may block the flow, right? Yeah. Also, I think the competitive flow also would not allow a easy flow around the device, the competitive flow mm. from the right coronary artery. So can I have a micro catheter? Yeah. I think we changed the micro catheter. And can I have a uh, run, run through? Wire. Hmm, wire. I want to change the wire. Mm. So o ordinarily, uh, we try to use a 2.0 or 2.5 to obtain a good image uh, if the stenosis is tight coming, to obtain yet, a clear not, not OCT yes, image. Okay. But in this case, it's a CTO. So after balloon dilatation, uh, we oh. have to think about the recoil. So while we are doing this exchange, I had asked this question to Dr. Saito outside. Uh, about the wire, wire escalation strategy. Wire. And I guess uh, the panel there can also bring up that discussion. There are some of the expert, most expert CTO operators. Uh, Dr. Saito suggested that his uh, choice would be to start with filter XTA, that is XT anterior. There's also regular filter XT wire that people tend to use more frequently now for a retrograde approach. 
and then his next choice would have been Gaia mm -hmm. one wire. Yeah. It's a wire that very experienced hand mm -hmm. uh, is required to use. Right? But uh, Tak, can you guys uh, discuss out your choice? I would have uh, switched from Filter XTA to Pilot uh, 200 if that was not going. And uh, then uh, I don't know if this was the best uh, situation of using any alternate uh, sub-intimal device. So I think that uh, it varies a little bit from place to place and from country to country and from continent to continent. Uh, so there is a trend, yes, yes. more recent trend that uh, polymer jacket uh, wires are used more often and Pilot 200 has see. been uh, the one that people it's are more comfortable in the okay. United States. Uh, however, I think the the suggestion that uh, Dr. Saito mentioned about from this wire mm -hmm. escalates towards the Gua the Gaia family is uh, still uh, popular in in other places. So we have to but take, uh, um, maybe I think a, a, a more important comment will be yeah, that yeah, uh, being familiarized balloon, with some type balloon. of wires is more important than um, than which one we are going to select here. So, so uh, I think if you are more familiarized with that type of escalation, I would stick to that type of escalation rather than start to try uh, new devices. We do have new wires every year, one or two every year. So if we want to be familiarized and proficient in all the different uh, wires, probably is not going to be a good thing. Yeah, I think that's a very good comment. Um, there's a different kind of wire, different kind of operators, and United States approach, and uh, Japanese approach, Chinese approach, European approach, I think probably a lot, some difference. Uh, we had a CTO expert in our audience, Dr. Graham, Aaron Graham. Can, can you make some 16. comment? Can you stand up? 16. and? see what kind of preference okay. you, you got. 16. While Aaron comes up to the mic, I think the other important thing also is to keep on changing the strategy. If one doesn't work, uh, don't just stick up. up to that for a long time and continuously Please. through also know the, uh, the tip mode of the wires. Take a picture. Yeah. So, so the question was more of the wire escalation. What would that be your, your current? Nitro. Yeah, in so anti-grade wire escalation, uh, he, Dr. Saito mentioned that after the, ga the um, uh, fielder First, uh, will go to Nitro. a Gaia family, whereas uh, there is uh, other uh, groups that they have the tendency to continue with the polymer jacket wires. Yeah. So when we so got we involved in the CTO we gave space the nitro greasing years ago, one, okay. of the, one of the challenges was we'll there were 30 different wires and a hundred different approaches, and people uh, walked away from meeting dissection. confused. So dissection. what we tried to do it's was dissection. compress can the I, wire portfolio have, uh, so that there weren't so many choices. Epic so order? we started with an anti-grade wiring scheme that started with XT, then went to Pilot 200, and then went to a stiff tapered wire, but only okay. if there was a very defined route, a short occlusion. Yeah. Big dissection. Big dissection. Yeah. We've case, abandoned the XT <coughs> and we're going right to Pilot 200 or Gladius as the first wire and then escalating to a stiff tapered wire. Again, only when there's a very short duration to traverse. If it's long, you use the stiff tapered wire and the examples are Gaia 3rd, Conquest Pro 12, Hornet 14. There's three to choose from. Pick one and use it. That's then used for just advancing a little ways and then we advocate for de-escalation back to the you Gladius or the Pilot 200. Oh. In the progress registry, yes, the most successful yeah. crossing wire was the Pilot 200. So there's at least I a little was, evidence was, that that's a very successful crossing I was, wire. I was. So you can see a very you know, large dissection from the beginning of a lady to the proximal part. And uh, I'm sorry, in this kind of a situation, OCT cannot help us. So the, I want to exchange the uh, imaging device to Ivas, okay? 
Yeah, the I, main I, purpose of measuring uh, imaging in this situation is the, to determine the size of the vessel. Yes, I, I completely agree with uh, Saito Sensei. Yes, in this situation, OCT doesn't work very well because of the flow disturbance. Mm -hmm. At that time, an uh, IBUS should be a very important tool to identify the, the, the region identification, right? And the decision of the size of the stunt. What has been your experience with the miracle series of wires and this one, the panelist and this one? Mm. Are there any learned the miracle series being used, miracle 3, 6, 12, and then Compass Pro in CTOs? I don't stock Miracle wires. I use okay, the wires. Okay. I no just, longer I, using uh, Miracle I, and uh, Compass Pro. No, or? I use the wires I just mentioned. I can do CTOs with essentially with three wires for escalation, an externalization wire, and a dedicated wire for collateral crossing. Five wires. You can do a lot of CTOs with five wires, especially if you have a reentry skill set uh, using ADR and a, re a retrograde skill set using reverse card. You don't need 30 wires on your shelf to do CTO PCI. You need to change the game. If, an, if a wire's not working for you, I don't go from three to six to nine to 12. That takes hours. You don't have hours to do these procedures. I go from a one gram wire to a 12 gram wire. I make a big change when I make a change. And I, Ready? Go ahead. as a CTO operator, you need to understand how, how these wires are built and what they're designed to do so that you can translate that into practice and use wires in situations where they are designed to perform. Yes. I think that is a very important comment, the fact that not to use 30 wires is very, is very important. I mean, if you use 30 wires, you okay, will not have a good Epicranial, can you start for me? Ah, Epicranial. Epicranial. Okay, it's enough. Okay, start okay, it. Okay, start it. True room, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is a uh, distal LED. Oh. Yeah, the very Rotopra. fibrous, fibrous plug. Yeah, large yes. vessel yes. there. This cell diameter is around three, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also the flow is very limited. Mm. Might be uh, some mm. uh, negative, yes, uh, shrinkage mm. of the mm. vessel, right? So mm. we have to take into account about the uh, some shrinkage, mm. right? So there's some calcium here. Then here is a uh, branch, might be. Uh, <laughs> Septal perforator, yes, and here is a big uh, plaque and uh, the lot, uh, spotty calcium with a very fibrous tissue. Yeah, almost, he, he, uh, yeah, almost a huge a vessel here, yeah. right? Positive, might be uh, some positive remodeling, but uh, uh, it's in the deep calcium, it might be uh, mm. uh, uh, not a big problem, right? Mm. Mm. Right there, look like a four by four. Oh, yeah. This is uh, yeah. This is uh, the sucks. That's I the ostium. Yeah, yes, yeah. So the plug continue to the uh, yeah. left main, but uh, yeah. yeah, not so much. And yeah. the left main is more than 4.5, right? Mm. Nearly five. Very big mm. left main. Right? Mm. Yeah. So, so. Uh. right. How Can you? Can it's you clear. tell me the, the length, length of the stent? Okay. okay. I, I want to cross over mm -hmm. from left main to LED. I see. So the the distal size of the vessel is uh, 3.0. Yes. However, yeah. I have to take a 3.5 millimeter stent. I see. I see. Okay. It, it might be okay Besides if, if we put uh, the very mm. gently mm. to protect yeah. the distal yeah. portion, yeah. and then we size, can dilate. Length. 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 So we are now trying to making. The links, right? <laughs> Take a longer one. Yeah, long one. So the the approximate so the of the ah. left main, yes, much more. No. It, the cycle sense crossover. Yeah. In the CX, from left right? main to LED. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. 
So here is a left main, mm. and, uh, please, please. Mm. Uh, yeah, left uh, main, yeah. Left from main. here. So basically, you got to go from 4-5 four four to 3-0. 4-5. 4-5. 4-5. 4-5. 4-5. Ah. Yeah, too wrong. Yeah. <laughs> too wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in that case, I first want to take a 3-38. 38. 3.5. Okay. 38. 3.5, 38. <laughs> Why not a Zabu technique to just uh, stand from the ostium of the LED rather than going over left main over LED? Uh, if if uh, I am skillful like you, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is LED angle is 90 degrees and the uh, circ is straight uh, forward, uh, Ramos is there. Okay, uh, Codal. 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 So you decide to put a one long stand from to cover to the left main? Or yeah. you two stand? Uh, anyway, uh, after placing the first stand, I will decide, okay? Whether I need another stand implantation at the distal part or not. This is 38, 3, 5, 38. Okay, from here? No. Maybe, how about here? Okay, just do, uh, maybe a uh, check, Anjo. Yes, okay, go. Go, go. By 10, first 10. It's a 10. Mm. Okay, deflate. And uh, I will pull back the balloon a little bit. Mm, what kind of stand is it? This is a uh, which stand? Giants. Giants. Science. Giants expedition. So three oh. Okay. Three uh, five. Three point five, five thirty eight. Okay. okay here. Going up. Go. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Different. So science stand can three oh can three five can go up to five, five five. five. Mm -hmm. And the. Can I have a 4.5? Mm. Okay, 4.5. Short one, one, short one. Short one. Dr. Okasaka? Yes, yes. Do you using the same criteria of the OCT and the iris about the side branch closure? This uh, one, the circumflex looks very healthy. Yes, yes. And looks like 
more than 1.7 millimeter, yes. definitely. Yeah. Is the same criteria yes, or you don't have the data no, for that? There are no data about the IBUS, but uh, we can uh, apply the similar yes uh, data uh, yeah, based on OCT. So you, you can measure the, uh, the links and then uh, we try to check uh, the tip no, cannot angle, cross. right, at the moment. But there are no, no IBUS data showing the side branch occlusion. But from you look at that, you think the risk for side branch closure is very low. But uh, yeah, the length of the, the vessel is, is huge, and uh, yeah, there are uh, some uh, Kalina shift may makes uh, some stenosis in uh, uh. The, the lumps, but it might be okay. Cannot close. So can, can I have a three millimeter balloon, the same component? We have yeah, three millimeter balloon. <coughs> I cannot cross uh, this uh, uh, high pressure balloon. Yeah, is a non compliance or is a regular compliance? This is a non compliant. So I take the. We have three millimeter balloon already. This is a semi-compliant 3O balloon. Okay, very easy. 10, 16. 16, 18. 16, 18. Okay. Very easy. Okay. Then, Same the, one? yeah. Four. 4.5. Saito sensei take my presence into account in this time. That is the reason why he uh, ordered the OCT, right? Mm. But uh, <laughs> I, I think uh, in his daily clinical practice in this situation, he always select IVAS, I think. Mm. Saito sensei agree? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's true. And uh, at this moment, I don't have uh, any information for the distal part of the stand. Yes. <laughs> uh, still, I cannot cross. Take a Hmm? Simple balloon, four foot wide. Mm, mm, mm. Well, four point five. The regular balloon will go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four five regular. Regular. Mm. The <coughs> there is no plaque on the left main, so you don't need mm. non-compliance. Mm. Why? Very stiff, very hard. Four point five or uh, even eight. Mm -hmm. Ah no no five. Semi compliant or four zero balloon. Yeah, that's fine. But that is eight you had, this is six. But other 4.5, we didn't go down there, sorry. This is the non-compliant? This is six. Uh, six. Uh, this previous one is? Eight. 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 We can try? You can try this. Mm. We can try this. Mm.
No. We, we inflate over here. Huh? Inflate and deflate and go again. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Inflate. It's not going. Cannot. We, we, we inflate over here. Huh. Just check it. In, in, inflate over here. Uh, we can, yeah. uh -huh. can we we inflate and deflate and then push? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we go inflate. Go, yeah, can we go, go, just go. inflate, deflate, and while deflating, we can push? Okay, okay. deflate. Yeah, go, go. No. Oh, Why? Come on, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, here, 12. 12. Okay, deflate. Check. Check as well. <laughs> okay, here. To 16, 18. 16. 18. 18. Okay, different. Then, first, shall we? Try to do IVAS, okay? Okay. And then yeah. do it. No. Okay. okay. IVAS? You don't want to show us we the can angiography. See digital one? Epicranial? Digital? Uh, this one is fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, will, I will show the angiography later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. Yeah, <laughs> secret. And I think it's a good practice because it saves dye. Yes. At the end of the day, the patient has to wear the contrast and has to excrete it. So yeah. using less of contrast, I think, yeah. is always a good idea. Yeah, maybe. I agree, yes. Because the patient have uh, no complaint, the hemodynamically stable, no STT change at that time. Yeah. The we thing? can do the yeah. image. Fast. From here. Oh, go. Okay, go. This from the distal part of the stent. Yeah, this is in a very no normal looking. Yeah, no plaque here. Stent. But it's a two by two artery there. Yeah, two by two. But uh, we have to think about uh, some shrinkage because yes. yeah, long term CTO, right? Yeah. That looks looks very wonderful. Yeah. Almost normal. Yeah. It might be the septal one, yeah. Right. Okay, still. I don't know, not yet. <laughs> Start it from <laughs> too far. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, right? Okay. Here. Okay. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Too far. <laughs> so the the audience is too quiet, right? <laughs> yeah, we are waiting for some <laughs> some sort of information to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> A yeah, small amount of fibrous plug, but it might be okay, ah. right? Uh, some branch, yeah, branch, branch. Comes yeah. and we can identify some plug, okay. the six, yeah. six of plug. Right? Oh, there is a stent. Yeah, a stent. Ah. Yeah. Ah. And the stent diameter is uh, two point two five, right? Yeah. Too small. Uh, uh, might be uh, here, here. Might be the three, ah. right? Ah. Ah. Yeah, around three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. And uh, the distal edge is okay, uh, and also, uh, yeah, looks very symmetrical, right? And here is a very eccentric plug, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, and we can identify the calcium in the, the, uh, from uh, 7 to 12 o'clock, but uh, the symmetricity is okay, and mm. here might be the 3.5 around mm. here. Well ex expanded. Yeah, well expanded, yes. Oh. Mm. 
This is a uh, left main. Yeah, here uh. is a uh, yes, left uh. main. This is left uh. main. Yeah. It's well expanded. Yeah, well expanded. Uh, position is okay. Uh. Uh. One, right. two, three, four, four point five. No uh, incomplete uh, position, right? Yeah. Okay. It's good. So, do you suggest uh, another stent, short stent implantation at the distal part, or not? I, I think it might be okay. Yes, small amount of uh, mm. uh, plaque, but mm. uh, it's in the fibrous and uh, mm. there are no uh, dissection at okay. the edge, so we can leave it alone. Okay, right want. there. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Right okay. there. Yeah. Okay. So now it's time to oh. take angiography after injecting the nitro. 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 Right there in the distal edge of the stent, at the stent, it's a little bit smaller or mm. compared with the... Yes, proxima. Yeah. Proxima, yeah. but uh, try to check uh, the, the far distal from the, the stent okay. edge, right? Mm. A little bit, yeah. Epic okay. right? Same but the size yeah. Yeah. is this one first. around the two, right? Oh. Okay. Epicranial? Epicranial. Looks, looks nice. Looks pretty good. Oh, mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can, can I uh, pre uh, review the previous image? Previous one? Previous one. Okay, this one. How do you think about the branch, two branch in the south, Austin? I do not want to touch. No, yes. I think they are wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So good. Okay. We speculated uh, only small pinch, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so little bit, very yeah. little okay. in the ramus. So, so one more injection, the final injection. Okay. Oh, mm. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Mm. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful result. Yeah. Okay. So that LED will grow probably over time. <laughs>